Hey guys, this is William Congreve here, and, uh, I mean, I, I'm actually still sort of in shock. This is just, like, five minutes after I watched Seth Bling's video on 13W39, the latest snapshot, which uh, allows you to have custom... Oh, no, wait, you're not meant to go yet, yet. That would spoil the video if you went too early. So I'm just gonna push you back, guys. Um, and, uh, this appears to be lagging. This is the first time I've ever experienced really lag on this computer, outside of a couple of space stations I made in Kerbal Space Program. Uh, I'm hoping that the recording goes okay. Uh, speaking of recording, I should turn down my volume, because I'm recording with Snagit now, because I've just been uh, having so much trouble with... Um... Whoa. A lot of things changed in this snapshot. I just downloaded it simply so that I could do this. So, um, I've been having a lot of trouble with getting my audio and video synced, so now I'm using the same software to record them, rather than two separate things. So, um, here we go. Alright, so, now, um, uh, yes, still collecting myself so that I can actually make this video. Um, right, right, okay, okay. So, Minecarts which can place blocks uh, and travel. Minecarts which can place blocks leads to minecarts which can theoretically travel an infinite distance. And I'm just going to go ahead and show this off right away and then talk about the ramifications of this. I'm going to keep working on this for a bit actually. This is just. This is so exciting. Um, once these things reach the edge of the end of the stuff they've already placed, you'll begin to see what I'm talking about. Uh, but this is just like really exciting. Like. Uh, I've actually stopped my homework so that I can do this. That's how exciting this is. And anyways, you see, these minecarts, they're just laying blocks in front of them. And they can go until that furnace cart runs out of fuel like this. Now, here's the ma fantastic thing, though. I think, and this is an I think here, there's a potential that I could be wrong here. Um, what I think is that this means that you can theoretically create moving buildings in Minecraft and... Oh crap. Oh no, wait, they gonna keep going just fine. But, uh, um... You can theoretically create A, moving buildings in Minecraft, uh, and B, really infinite copies of anything in Minecraft. Now, I know how Dark Water Projects got stuck golded for saying infinite in one of his videos, so I'm not actually getting ahead and say infinite, but close to infinite, because I mean, basically as many copies as you can fit in a slice of the Minecraft map. And what I'm talking about by that is, so you've got these minecarts, right? They're laying down a trail. Now imagine you had a string of minecarts behind them. Now it wouldn't work perfectly in this case, because they'd just keep overriding each other. In this case, that all you could do if you had a string of minecarts between them would be you could create something which was only sort of one slice wide. Like, imagine a slice of the map like this. You could have a string of minecarts come along and alter this slice of the map however you wanted to. So you could, like, make a nice uh, glass enclosure around this, or you could lay down a road beside it that you'd use to travel along later, or a canal or something. Um, and this is, of course, all requiring that there's a solid blocks here, which the minecarts could also be laying down in front of them, so I guess it's not requiring that. Um, so yeah, these can go anywhere, because they can. you can have it coded so that they like make sure that the space in front of them is burrowed out, then they start laying down stuff. And it would require a lot of minecarts and time, but this is all possible. I'm going to try and have an example where they go along making trees by the side of the track. Um, and, uh, anyways, the... <sighs> wow, this is, this is just amazing. I mean, I'm sorry if I seem like a total nerd or something here, but I, I've been trying for a while to think of a way to make something in Minecraft go, um, infinitely. Like, just keep traveling onwards. And, uh, it looks like a Reddit user beat me to that when he suggested to Seth Bling that a, mi that a spawner minecart could lay down track in front of itself. And, oh look, this thing just ran out of coal. So, yeah, I'm gonna give it more coal, because it's, it's just fun to watch these guys go. Um, when he suggested that a spawner minecart could lay down track in front of itself over a theoretical 
theoretically infinite distance as long as it didn't encounter obstructions. This thing it can plow straight through obstructions, so mm, this thing can really go until the end of the map and there's nothing you can do to stop it, aside from like actually just having it so that you walk in and smash the minecarts. Like, you can't place any terrain in this thing's way to stop it. Now, here's what I believe makes this so great, though. Imagine that instead of having sort of these minecarts just laying down track one in front of them, which was all activator rails, imagine that instead there was like this minecart which laid down track, which say, looks like I'm going to have to let these guys go and because I need to stop to show you this, but imagine that uh, these command blocks of minecarts just going along their little track and this one, say, lays down a piece of regular track right in front of itself. Then this one comes over to where this one is. It, um, imagine that they're right beside each other. So imagine they're going along the track and this one lays down a piece of track in front of itself. This one lays down another piece of track. This one lays down another piece of track. Um, and they're all hitting one activator rail right here. They're, it's not like there are a bunch of activator rails here. They're all hitting this one activator rail. Like this one, when it hits the activator rail, lays down one, one in front of it. This one, two in front of it, etc. And then imagine that, mm, like, uh, this is what? Six, seven command blocks. So, no, um, four, seven command blocks. So imagine that it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's the track that they lay down. And then they can just keep rolling along that track. And then you can have more minecarts behind them, which lay down like, uh, uh, which lay down like a redstone block here and a redstone block here. And then you can have, uh, and those things will be like one iteration of these track behind, of this track behind them. And yes, yes, now that I'm actually laying it out here, I see that this is actually possible. And I'm going to create it tonight, even if it means that I stay up through the night and do no homework. Or perhaps my parents are going to drag me kicking and screaming into bed and bolt me down. But, um, yeah. I am going to work on this until I get it done, um, putting everything else on hold, and I maybe should have stopped those guys. I'm just going to assume that nothing bad's going to happen when they just keep going forever. Um, and so then you could have like one iteration back, those guys plant that, and that means that mm, you can have a string of minecarts do theoretically as much stuff here as you want. And this doesn't have to be seven blocks long. It could be like 20 blocks long if you wanted it to. Each iteration of the track before it repeats itself could be however long you wanted. And you could, and then in iterations of the track before that, you could encode whatever data you wanted on the minecarts in such a manner that, and this is the awesome thing, you could have like this track beside it create whatever you wanted to. Like you could have it say, Hi. And now, that might not seem so awesome right now, except for the fact that it would then go along seven more blocks and it would say hi again. Like, how many blocks from the end is this? This is two blocks from the end, so I should move that over a bit more. No, wait, that should be right there. I'm right. Stop questioning yourself, William. And it would say hi again. And if you wanted to, you could have it so that later on minecarts would come back and they would replace all of this with air instead of hi, instead of the message hi. So it, you could like have it the message hi just move across the map. Or you could have your building move across the map. Like you could have your castle actually move across the map. And if part of what your castle did while it was moving was lay down track inside it and you sit in a minecart inside of it as it was moving, you could move with your castle across the map. And because these things can inc can now encode like so much data into one thing, like they can encode specific items into a chest, you could have all of your possessions move with your castle across the map. And of course, it wouldn't actually be the original castle you started out with. It would be mm, a new castle. A castle would appear like here, then it would move along one block, 
and the original the, then the original castle would disappear and the new castle would appear one block over etc and you could actually and you could have not just like one strip of this but like loads of strips so all with low all with massive amounts of data encoded onto them and those strips of uh, data could just roll across the map uh, creating whatever you wanted to like theoretically you could have like entire biomes be made just by these rolling strips of minecart uh, you could have uh, like this thing be a hundred blocks long and part of the data encodes is a massive mountain there you could have things like my redstone 3D printer all encoded onto this so that it just spawned gigantic copies of my redstone 3D printer all across the minecart all across the minecraft map you could have it drop books like you could have it so that it looked like a plane and your plane could drop bombs of TNT as it moved across the map you could I think you could even have it so that it turned now um, however there is one limitation which I haven't quite beat yet I haven't thought of a way around this you can't have something which travels through an iteration without executing so if you wanted it to turn like every hundred blocks you couldn't have it go two hundred blocks without turning it has to do the same thing each iteration that means that things can move, but they can't really change as they move. Like, you couldn't have your plane, uh, say, drop bombs and then turn, uh, and drop bombs and, like, I suppose you could you could easily have your plane, like, uh, you could even do it just by just having a loop and the stuff encoded on a loop. You could have your plane fly over the place in a circle bombing things, but you couldn't have it, like, turn whenever you wanted to. Like, I want my plane to turn after 300 blocks, and then... I want my plane to turn after 500 blocks. You could probably do that by inside your plane having, and you need to theoretically, this is only theoretical because nobody could really code that quickly or write in the stuff for these blocks that quickly, but you could have it like, um, imagine that you had inside your plane so that you could click a button and a piece of rail would spawn here. Then, as the iteration went on, this is what four blocks available for getting one, two, three, four. So, if you had it spawn here, that's one, two, three, four. Then the mine carts would turn. So, yes, it turns out that I am figuring this out all on the fly. This is the first time I haven't got a redstone build complete in my redstone video. Uh, but I just I couldn't wait to show to share this. I mean, this is so sort of almost groundbreaking uh, but you can really do anything with this now you can have your buildings move across the map you can create infinite copies of something across the map you can build massive redstone machines without needing MC edit yes yes this is a way to replicate things without using a program like MC edit to copy and paste rather than uh, for your redstone creation making now this is obviously going to be more complicated than MC edit but like if i wanted in my redstone guns creation to have uh, um the the things uh my amos components say be created 20 times rather than using mc edit to copy and paste it 20 times i could encode the ammo component onto one of the onto a sort of strip and have that strip roll along and um that strip would uh, ha that strip would ha just create the component and create the component, create the component over and over and over again, and yes, it would do that. And I mean, I think that's that's really it. That's all I have to say. Some of you will have n had no idea of what I said in this entire video, and I completely don't blame you. I'm gonna definitely give you a demonstration very soon. Um, now that I've actually said all this and sort of gotten out of my system, I think it would probably be advisable for me to do my homework first, just so that I have that done, but I'll try and create a demonstration of this as soon as possible. Um, but then, I mean, some of you won't understand what was going on, some of you won't even understand it after the demonstration, I think, but mm, some of you will be like, 
whoa, he's completely right, this changes everything, and then you'll set right down to building this right away. Hopefully somewhere, somebody will uh, learn this, possibly not from me, but somebody will learn this, and then they'll have the experience to actually... Yes. Man, I wish, I wish with my heart and soul that I had the Python experience to do this. Uh, somebody sh somewhere should be able to code a plugin for MC Edit, I think, that allows you to enter values, like say, uh, like, I want my iteration to be of length 20, and then at these coordinates I want there to be this block, this block, this block, or even maybe import a schematic, and then just have it analyze that schematic, and then create a network of these, uh, sort of a really long chain of these minecarts that would just create that schematic over and over, just driving across the terrain. Because that, that would simplify it down to the point where, like, anybody could do it without having to spend a long time individually, like, programming each command in a command block and testing it and things. And that would actually mean that you could, like, do this stuff easily and, whoa, I mean, I mean, yeah. And my phone is informing me that it's probably time to end this video. Oh, look, it's Bubsalon calling, actually, as it turns out. Um, I'm hoping that I'm not going to have to get that. Yep, somebody else got that. So uh, I should probably end this video quickly, though, before I have to start talking to him. So, yes, I promise. Uh, this is a promise. I rarely make promises, and I promise that I'm going to come out with a demonstration for this. And if I can, I'm going to try and... Uh, uh, and if I can, I'm going to try and write something to actually be able to do this from MC Edit Schematics. That's a long way in the future, though, like months away. But the demonstration isn't. I'm, I'm going to try and get it done tonight, guys. So, without any further ado, obligatory goodbye. <laughs>